What's up RC enthusiasts? Welcome to O Brothers RC. In this video I got another 124 scale crawler to check out. This thing's kind of a clone of an SCX24, but it's the RCS24. I did a review on the recent 124 scale crawler that was sort of a clone of the SCX24 and that thing sucked. I'm hoping this thing's a little bit better because it was a killer deal and I'd buy more for projects if it doesn't. Suck that is. So let's hop on over to the garage, pop it out of the box and find out if it sucks. I got the black one, hopefully that's what's in the box. It says it's got metal gears, hopefully that's true. Full ball bearings, man, I hope so, that's gonna be sweet. It's got a pretty cool looking controller. Let's pop it out and see if the box is accurate. Got a manual, some batteries for the controller, that's awesome. Got a little 380 lithium ion there. Actually, there's two of them, sweet. And your standard type charger. This looks suspiciously just like the recent version the R-A-C-E-N-T version, recent. Hopefully this thing's better because that thing was an absolute POS. The body looks great, just like on that recent one. The tires are pretty stiff, but you know, we always replace the tires, so no big deal. They look just like the axial version, but they're definitely stiffer. Right off, I noticed we got some serious play in the four link here. Got these body clips that I absolutely hate. Man, these are really hard to get to and really hard to get off. But the upside is that you don't have any uh, body posts coming through the body. Ah, there we go. The body comes off pretty easily once you get those clips out. Looks like you got a full light system. That's freaking cool. But it's going to have blinkers. I just know it. And I hate blinkers. It's got that little tiny motor. That's not going to be good. So this thing is quite a bit different than an SCX24. The placement of everything is different. These shock towers are definitely different. You got these side guards. The chassis is definitely different. It's not a C channel, but this thing's tiny and the chassis don't really twist on these things at all. So I don't really care if it's a C channel or not. The front only has a tiny bit of play and the four link. So that's cool. The back though, man, it, it's moving all over the place. The differentials and the C hubs, the steering, the four link, skid plate, the drive shafts, everything looks very similar to the SCX24, except for this has a three link in the front, like the deadbolt, not the Jeep. The body's pretty freaking sweet. It's got windshield wipers, mirrors, full light setup, spare tire in the back. The controller I like, it's small. It's got a foam steering wheel. It's got dual rate throttle steering and it's got steering and throttle trim. And this must be a light function. Let's pop some batteries in and find out. I always wanted to do this. Let's see if it works. Nice. Let's try it with the Jeep. Oh man. Man, I suck at this. Yeah, let's turn this thing on. Bam. Oop. Huh. Let's try it backwards. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this is one of those backward systems where you gotta turn on the ESC first and then the controller. Not sure why, but the recent was like that as well. I had to turn the truck on and then turn the controller on. Let's throw the body on and check the single most important thing about a crawler. And that is the ESC and the gear ratio. Let's see how this little guy crawls. Hmm, it's a little jumpy. Not terrible. Hmm. Let's see if it'll run straight. Way better than the racin I had. The racin I had, the whole thing wobbled. The whole drivetrain was crooked and just, it was way out of whack. This thing runs pretty smooth. Yeah, it runs pretty smooth. It's a little jumpy, but that's probably due to that tiny little motor. And it does crawl well, really slow. So I think if there was a more powerful motor in it and it had more torque, it'd probably be okay. 
running up against objects like that. At least a lot better than it is now. Interesting. All right, so I'm pleasantly surprised so far. This thing is not horrible. It was only 80 bucks and, um, you know, I wasn't expecting a lot. I was actually expecting that I might send it back. Right now I'm on the fence. So let's take it outside to my course and see how it does. Then we'll come back into the studio and I'll give you my final thoughts on the truck. I am pleasantly surprised with this thing. It functioned well out of the box. The suspension works great, it doesn't bind up. Came with two batteries. It's got a fantastic body, way better than an SCX24 body. The price point's great. I actually really like the controller. I can use one hand to control it and uh, it's small and lightweight. It's got a ton of functions, it's fantastic. There are only a couple minor drawbacks about this thing. The undersized motor, got a little bit of play in the rear end here and the body clips. I'm not even going to mention the wheels and tires because I always replace them anyway. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the blinkers. But all those things are easy to fix. Just like the SCX24, you throw a $10 motor in this thing and it's killer. I'll also throw a $10 underdrive gear set in the rear end, which will make it crawl and turn even better. Then a set of brass wheels with new tires, about $35, and this thing will be killer. That's why I'm going to give this thing two thumbs up. And I'll probably be buying more of these in the future for projects. If you like honest reviews and you want to see some cool builds, hit that like and subscribe button and smash the bell so you can get notified of my next videos. And remember, when you think RC, think O Brothers RC. Thanks for watching. But if you don't think my opinion is correct on this subject,
Just remember. Oh, brothers, RC doesn't care what you think, brother.